you think that even though you fought Lomachenko, you went to Australia and got him over there twice. Why do you think Regis wants to hold on to that? Pot, you know, supposedly lost to TJ. What is he talking about? I don't know. I ain't heard nothing of it since the press conference. Um, and he didn't bring him, he, he didn't bring it up much at the press conference. So uh, you already beat Lomachenko. You got the titles, the you know, quote unquote, right way. Why do you think he holds on to the rumor like that? I don't know. Um, at the end of the day, we got a fight December 9th, and um, that's what we'll, we'll be able to tell. How did it come back to the Bay, man? You know, first fight back in, you know, Francisco. How are you feeling, man? Nah, man, it's a, it's a blessing. I'm, in, I'm excited for it. Uh, the turnout has is, is, is been great so far, and, um, you know, I look to, to, to do, you know, another fight. If, 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 if not the next fight, another fight um, back in the Bay. Yeah. But the two places, you know, with, with, with my bad, with, um, with the two places I look to do a fight at next with the turnout of the Bay is um, either, you know, we go back to the Bay in my next fight or we go to Saudi Arabia. I mean, uh, I don't know if y'all watched the face off yet or the, it's what, not out yet. yeah, yeah. Well, if you look at it, um, I told him that he never wanted this fight. He didn't want to fight. He wanted, he wanted to supposedly fight some tune up fights or whatever, whatever. Uh, which I don't understand why he wanted to fight some tune-up fights. This is my first fight at 140. Uh, you just won the title, so why would you want to go fight some more tune-up fights? But, um, I mean, it just explains. He knows the type of fighter I am. He knows that um, he's 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 going to lose. So, um, you know, he was trying to get as much money as he could. He was trying to stall and get get as much money as he could. But at the end of the day, I still respect him as a real fighter because he took the fight. Devin, at, um you ever go back down to 135? You know I mean, you got all the belts at 135. You did everything at 135. Yeah, I mean, it, it would it would have to make sense for me to go back down to 135. It's a huge fight. You know, we got uh, Tank, Tank Davis is still at 135. Um, what about your current man? Yeah, why, why, why Tank? Yeah, ain't, um, why Tank ain't fighting? I mean, why he ain't calling you out? Why you calling everybody else? I don't know. You know, Shakur is at 135. Um, it's still big fights at 135, but you know. Tank is the, the the big money fight for me at at, at 135. So that would be something to, to go back down for. Uh, other than that, you know, it's it really makes no sense for me. And what was your thoughts on? Ten percent, you know. Price nah, I think it might be five percent now. Five percent now. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, what did you think about his uh, last performance too, though, man? What's I mean, your personal opinion. I think um. <laughs> Man, y'all know y'all y'all know what type of performance it was. Um, y'all gonna tune into you know a real fight. You know, two hungry fighters, two fighters going in there to 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 you know uh, prove who's the better fighter. Um, on December the 9th, um, me versus Regis Progress, and y'all tune in to, to see the real thing. Why do you think Tank is going on your Twitter talking about how you draft him, sparring, and stuff? I don't know. Tank say everything, but but he want to fight. So um, I've been saying this for a long time now. That's the fight to be made. Um, you know, I, I am the, the, the face of boxing. I'm the guy that's taking the risk, that's going to go fight, you know, um, the, the, the best fighters in the world, you know, uh, staying busy, staying active, you know, selling out arenas. This be the, 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 I sold out the, the um, MGM, and now I'm going to sell out the, the Bay Area. So, um, and I'm taking real fights doing it, you know. Um, I'm not a guy picking and choosing and, you know, ducking or none of this. You know, I'm offering the, 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 so-called best fighters, you know, contracts with, you know, like guy like Shakur. Um, you know, I am the the epitome of the face of boxing. Oh yeah, Ryan has been mentioning your name as well as, as of late. So is that a fight you you still inter interested in? Yeah, I mean, no, me me and Ryan is a is a a huge fight. Um, we see how his tickets are going though. You know, so you know they they can say that about him. And he said that he um he's the reason why Tank sold all those pay per views. And um. He's probably not even selling right now. So, you know, it just shows how big of a fight me and me and Tank Davis would be. But obviously my main focus is, you know, um, Regis Progress. And uh, once I'm past Regis Progress, then, uh, you know, we'll see. How was that face-off? Uh, um, hey, can I get some water? Water. Uh, the face-off face was good. Um, like, what type of energy did you get from him? Did you feel it was genuine? Oh. Uh, it was a lot better than what he did at the press conference. The press conference, he was silent. He was silent. He didn't say shit. Uh, but at the press, con I mean, at the um, face-off, he was talking a little bit more, um, which is good. You know, um, what can I say? I see him talk. He talked crazy on Twitter. He talked a lot on Twitter these days. But um, 
I don't know. When he see me, he don't say nothing. And then um, I see he said he knocking out. He or no, he uh, broke his sparring partner's jaw or something like that. Man, knock it off. Listen, when you when what we do in the gym, we don't even talk about. We don't even we don't even talk about the stuff we do in the gym because we saving it for the fight. You know, because that that's where it count. So he just talking. That's all he want to do is talk. You feel your power to carry on now too. Uh, you're going into 140? Yeah, I'm going to be much more stronger at uh, 140. I feel stronger right now. I feel stronger in the gym. Um, I can't wait to show the world how much you know better I've gotten in this camp, how much comfortable, how much you know better I feel at 140. Regis said this fight is basically going to make him a superstar. You beat Regis, what would this do for he you? Fuck, he, he fuck around and turn into a meme. <laughs> fuck around, fuck a super, so, you know, he might turn into a superstar on, on a meme when I'm done with him. Wait, what do you mean by that? Um, 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 like? up to, yes, you'll see. Like you'll like see. Yeah, you'll see. Yeah, yeah. He's gonna be. He's gonna be. Uh, he's gonna be a laughing stock when I'm done with him. Like, you know, cause cause he was talking all. He was talking. He been talking all that shit, and um, we gonna see. How do you feel about people saying? His coach too. They gonna put his ass <laughs> on a meme too. It's either going to be knocked out by Regis or boxing class by Haney. What do you gotta say to people who? We gotta see. Position? We gotta see. I'm coming to punch on him. You know. Uh, we gotta see. This ain't no Shakur Stevenson shit. This is some different kind of shit. So uh, they gonna see. They gonna see. Um, I'm gonna show him. I'm gonna. I'm gonna show him uh, something different. You know. Um, he can't. He he knows he can't outbox me. He he know that for a fact. He he 35 years old. He's not gonna learn nothing new in one training camp. He gonna go back to doing the same thing he that that he been doing. He's flat footed. He he, he he gonna try to come in and throw. You know. Try to put the pressure and try to land one big shot. We all know what he's gonna do. Ain't no secret what he's gonna do. But what I'm gonna do, the world gonna be surprised. They don't intimidate you. He's over there wrestling with alligators. I don't give a fuck what he doing. I don't care what he doing. That none, none of that shit intimidate me. When he get in that ring, that square circle, I'm gonna show him that I'm the dominant, better fighter. There's nothing that he could do better than me. Uh, he could try to go land, you know, one big punch, and it's gonna be a long night for him. Hey, what's your prediction for Benavidez versus Andre? Ah, uh, man, that's. Uh, I like Benavidez. I like Andre. They both my bros. Uh, I just want to see a good fight. I think it's gonna be a good fight. Fight of the year candidate. Um, you know, I don't know. I think they both can beat each other on any given night. So uh, I just want to. I just want to see a good fight. What about the uh, homemade Jose Jr. and Jamal? Yeah, honestly, I I don't really know too much about Jose Jose, but I obviously I heard that um, Charlo missed weight. So um, I don't know. I don't know, man. Uh, Charlo, that's my boy. You know, we got a we got a love hate relationship. We, we today we cool, tomorrow we not cool. Today we cool, tomorrow we not cool. But uh, that's my bro still. So uh, I want to see him do good. I want to see him prevail. Um, I wish him well. Um, wish him good luck on this fight. Another big fight in that weight in your weight class is Matias versus Ergushev. It's actually a championship fight. Who do you see winning in that fight this weekend? Honestly, um, I know Matias. I know who he is, but I never seen a fight, and uh, I don't know. I don't. I'm not familiar with the other guy. But I know that Sh I think Sugar Hill trains the other guy. He was just here the other day. They were telling me, but uh, I don't know much about him to be real. Nah, uh, my main focus is Regis Progress, focusing on that fight, and then uh, shit, we'll see what's next. Uh, I want to make big fights happen though. Um, you know, it's belts out there right now, but uh, you know, we don't really know those guys. You know, um, with all due respect, they fighters. I respect them as you know champions. Anybody that's a champion, you know, I know what it takes to become a champion. But you know, we don't know. We don't know those guys. Uh, we know Rowley, but I don't know where Rowley been at. <laughs> I, don't, I ain't seen Rowley lately. But um, that's a that, that's another fight to be made in uh, 140. But like I said, I got to get past um, Regis Progress. And then we go from there. But I want to make the biggest fights happen, um, the biggest money fights happen. You know, I, be I became undisputed, um, made history, defended my belts. You know, became the, the the youngest to do so. But uh, and you know, now it's time for me to make the biggest fights happen. And like I said, my next fight either be uh, back in the Bay Area or uh, we going to Saudi. Devin, regardless of promotional positions, I know obviously you're you're classed as a free agent beyond December 9th. But is that who do you see as being your biggest fight out of anybody out there? Or who? Who would you say is your biggest fight? Oh, um, Tank Davis. That, that, that's the biggest. I think that's the biggest fight in boxing, to be real. Um, you know, we all we know what kind of draw he is. Um, you know, we know what kind of draw I'm becoming, and um, I think uh, I think it's a huge fight. What is it going to take to make that fight? Happen? I mean, realistically. I don't know. I don't know. But I got. I know I got to get past Regis Progress, and I will get past Regis Progress on December the 9th. 
Uh, this will be my best performance. I'll be strong. Uh, I'm ready um, mentally, physically. And, uh, you know, uh, there's nothing that Regis can, can, can do that, uh, that will stop me in the ring on uh, December the 9th. Do you think at this point you're enjoying kind of being a free agent? I know you, you, know, you signed like one fight, but do you think that's the way to go from now on? It's like you just, you're going, you'll sign you know, one fight, two fights, so it gives you more options for future fights? Yeah, I mean, I, I've been saying this for a while now. You know, that's why I do co-promotional deals because I want to make the biggest fights happen. I don't want no excuses of why this fight or that fight couldn't happen. Um, so, yeah, no, I'm liking the way, with the way that things is going. But we never know what the future holds, you know. Um, I'm definitely looking to to land, you know, like a promotional, you know, contract with a with a with a network to where I can, you know, put my fighters on and stuff like that. Uh, you know, I'm looking to sign a lot of, a lot of more fighters. I've been signing more fighters, and uh, you guys will see you guys will see in the next few months. Um, but uh, you know, more on the business side. What do you think about uh, your fighter Mari Jones versus Kilo the Kid? Kilo, they're both from Northern Cali. It's gonna be like an epic battle. Man, that's a that, that's a great fight. Uh, I'm happy to, to for it to be on my undercard. Um, that's a fight that Amari wanted. Amari uh, wanted that fight, and uh, Kilo, or was what's his name Kilo? Kilo yeah, yeah, Kilo the yeah. He wanted to fight as well. So uh, I'm excited for that. Um, Amari is, is is the future. His work ethic is crazy. His skills is is, is crazy. Um, I just tell him all the time, you got to stay focused, stay on the right path, and uh, you're the future. Devin, you mentioned possibly boxing out in Saudi Arabia. Obviously, we've seen a lot of big fights being put out on out there. Do you feel like you might need their intervention to secure one of the other big names because of the financial demands of yourself and whoever that opponent may be? Yeah, I mean, you know, they, 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 they're the ones that's, you know, putting up the, the, the big, big dollars. Um, you know, of course, the, the big fights can happen here. We've seen it, you know, over time. But if we want to make that crazy money, then we go to, you know, Saudi or, you know, Dubai over there, um, Abu Dhabi, whatever, whatever. Uh, but then my people over there, I know a lot, uh, a lot of the the, sh the sheiks and the the princes over there. They Muslim like me, so um, you know uh, I talk to the guys on an everyday basis. So like I said, either next fight be here, I mean be in the Bay Area or um, there. Any plans to travel out for that December 23rd card? Yeah, um, yeah, I'm looking to be there. But uh, first, I gotta handle business, in which I will handle business on December the 9th. Speaking of December 9th, what do you think will be one of the biggest surprises in the ring that Regis sees? Is it your strength? Is it your footwork? I, mean, what I think it's all. I think it's all. I think he not after after I'm done with him December 9th, he not gonna know like what what was what was the best. Like you know what 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 attribute was was the best? Cause I'm bringing out everything. I'm bringing out every every tool in the tool, tool box. I'm dumping out the whole tool box. I'm using every tool. How much of an advantage will the move up in weight be for you now, Devin? Do you feel it in camp? Man, I feel I feel tremendous. Um, I feel so good. Um, but also, you know, I don't feel like overworked. You know, I used to have to overwork myself to to make the weight. You know, I'll be training to make weight, not training to to necessarily get better. I'm um, at that point where you know I'm 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 able to you know fine tune and you know focus on game plan and you know getting better. Knowing how comfortable you do feel now than making 140, does that somewhat make your mind up about whether or not you would ever drop back down to 135? Oh, uh, I still got to do the fight. Still got to fight and see. Uh, but like I said, you know, um, would 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 y'all go uh, would y'all go drop you know five more pounds for uh, a, a couple of millions, few millions? Of course, we all would. So um, you know, if the money the money's right, everything is right, it makes sense. Then uh, yeah. Now, I'm hearing your father saying something about Keith one time Thurman, uh, his name now in the mix with your name. What do you feel about that? Like, yeah, I mean, it's no secret that the 147 pound division is the next division up, 135 is next division down. So it's, it's it's no secret to that. So, you know, we got now that I'm at 140, you know, we start mingling with the 147 pounders and seeing, you know, what's, what, what's, what's there. So we just got to see. Um, I think it's very much possible, you know, inshallah, inshallah, you know, uh, we get the knockout victory, but I'm prepared for whatever, I'm, I'm, I'm prepared for 12 rounds, strong, um, a strong 12 rounds uh, on, on, on my end, so, um, you know, I'm not looking for anything, but uh, if it presents itself, it presents itself. Now the big fight got announced for all the Marvel's heavyweight, Fury versus Uzi. Who do you see winning that fight? That's a pretty big chess match in my eyes. Um, I think it's a great fight. Um, I'm a fan of Fury, so uh, I'm going with Fury. Definitely. It's always good to catch up with your channel. Thank you. Bam, but Devin, just your thoughts on Bam and Sonny the week after you. Who? Bam and Sonny. Bam oh, and Sonny. Bam and Sonny. Okay. Um, 
I don't know much about Sonny, but I know I can I came up with Bam since the amateurs. I'm friends with him, so uh, I'm rooting for him. But I don't know about Sonny. I like Sonny. I see he talk. He talk, um, but I never really seen him fight. So um, they say it's going to be a good fight. Eddie told me it's going to be a good fight, so I'm excited for it.